There were no leaks from this inquiry. The government didn't even know they were actually getting it today until today. Now, James Hamilton has dealt with a couple of very big government scandals when he was Ireland's chief prosecutor. He's largely considered to be above reproach, and that's why there was so much riding on his report today. It'll be enough to, to get the Greens to support the, the First Minister in a confidence vote tomorrow, but the Conservatives will still press ahead with that vote, particularly on the back of the committee's findings that we'll get tomorrow. Now, we know that, that there all, have already been leaks from that that have found that Nicola Sturgeon did breach the ministerial code as far as they're concerned. Now, the Hamilton report today says it's up for the Parliament to decide whether it was misled in terms of the meetings between Nicola Sturgeon and Alex Salmond. But to the First Minister, the, the report the, the, that will come from the committee tomorrow is very political. She believes that, that the opposition MSPs and that were out to get her. This report today, though, was independent and it clears her, but it won't be the last word. Alex Salmond accused Nicola Sturgeon of breaching the ministerial code. We haven't heard from him in response to this yes, yet, but we do expect to hear a statement from him later in the week. We haven't heard from the women who complained about Alex Salmond in the first place. They're concerned that the, the, the committee... Um, um, certainly mishandled the, the evidence that they gave in private to them early in the week and they are going to, to make further complaints about that. And uh, the whole issue of trust is now going to be a big issue in the, the Scottish Parliament election campaign over the next several weeks. This will have damaged Nicola Sturgeon's reputation with some people, with a lot of people perhaps, but it certainly hasn't brought her down.